Dr. Philip Hewitt, 21st Century Regenerative Medicine Institute. Today we are doing Lois's uh, laser guided umbilical cord procedure for the bone and bone arthritis of both her knees. You can see she has a genu valgus, which means knock knees, so the outside of her cartilages has worn out. So we're going to graft two cc's of allograft in the right knee and left under knee decompression. So this traction mechanism will open up the lateral knee joint on this acute angle. So the needle will go in unchallenged by the bone because the joint space will be opened, which will also make a vacuum so the cells are drawn into the joint space. We're gonna do that under alkyl chloride, which is a cold ice spray to numb the area. So you can feel the needle a lot less. And we're gonna go in this angle just like this. Perfect. Earlier we had marked the areas of greatest inflammation with the infrared thermometer because we want the cells are going to be attracted to the areas of greatest inflammation. So we have uh, a combination of sodium bicarbonate to make an alkaline environment for the cells to grow, uh, umbilical cord Wharton's jelly, uh, mesenchymal stem cells, hemopoietic stem cells, and Wharton's jelly umbilical cord acellular uh, growth factors to make a scaffolding like collagen, hyaluronic acid, to give the basic building blocks that assist the cells to graft to the lateral knee. We have two spots, so one is going to be the lateral inferior, and then yes, we're going to do two lateral for the right and two lateral for the left. Any resistance, we have an escape point right here. Right. How much more do we have left? About a quarter. Okay. All right, so this cavity is full, so now we're going to go to the lateral superior point. So we call this the bloodless mosquito bite procedure. Okay. Rarely do we get a drop of blood. Look, no blood. Rarely does it hurt more than mosquito bite going in. How many mosquito bites was that going in? Didn't even feel it. Didn't even feel it. Look at that. Didn't even flinch. Because of the decompression of the knee, makes it more smoother, the needle going in, and the alpha chloride. Okay. Now we're gonna graft the superior and I already targeted it with the laser guidance. We're gonna go at this angle just like that. So aim in the center of that knee joint. A little angle this way down, inferior. There you go, perfect. And graph the remaining of the corner. Perfect. Not a drop of blood. How many mosquitoes? Uh, yeah, look at that. And she's from the Midwest where they have plenty of mosquitoes. There's no mosquitoes in Orange County. She knows that. That's <laughs> teeny weeny. Yeah, teeny weeny <laughs> mosquito. So after we graft the cells, we actually massage the knee just to push the fluid around so it doesn't cause any point pressure. And this will actually activate the cells through paracrine signaling. You can see it's, we're actually breaking down some of the adhesions and causing local temporary inflammation because the stem cells are activated by inflammation, which means they will also stay in the target tissue, which is the lateral knee. So after we massage that, we do apply the light stem panel that the cells were defrosted in, and that makes a homing signal. So the cells will stay in the target tissue through photobiomodulation and also help adhere, repair, regenerate, and regrow that cartilage. Now, we're all going to do the same procedure in the left knee. Thanks for watching.